Hey guys, Tarko Cycle and FPV, and I'm actually going to be working on this right now. I'm going to have to move very quickly because I'm trying to beat the mail here. So uh, this, uh, Mr. Lopez, this is yours. Uh, I appreciate your business, sir. And you asked if I would go ahead and install the receiver for you, and I will be more than happy to do that. Uh, complimentary on the house today, uh, so I can make this video and also uh, thank you and uh, for your business and show you some appreciation here by doing that. Okay, so we're going to knock this out real quickly. Uh, you bought the Sector 5 V2, and this is uh, a, a plug-and-play version. So we're going to open it up, it's brand new, and we're going to go ahead and put your receiver on. I'll solder that for you, make it look real good, and then it'll be on its way. So let's go ahead and pull this out first. If any of you guys are doing HDLRCs or anything else, this is pretty much going to be what you'll follow as instructions, so feel free to jump on in here. Uh, I am going to go ahead and, let's see, he got the XM Plus, so I am going to go ahead and uh, perform the upgrade on this real quickly. And guys, I will tell you that one of the new things that we are doing is, um, sorry, i got to grab my receiver here, and it's in my bag. Hold on one second, because I flew yesterday. So let me hit this. Okay, so um, one of the things we are going to be offering, guys, we're getting uh, a, a ton of uh, free sky receivers and transmitters in, uh, all the new stuff, and uh, I am going to start offering to do all the upgrades for you guys. Um, it will be a, for a small fee. I can't do them at no charge because it takes a little bit of time, but it will be, I promise you, worth it. Uh, I will make it very affordable. This way we can do all your updates and, and firmware patches and stuff, and you don't have to worry about things uh, working properly. We're going to make sure they work. So right now I'm going to do the um, XM Plus here, and so you guys can follow along if you'd like uh, and watch this so that you can do it on yours. So I already have the XM Plus software here. Uh, I'm going to take my update cable. This is the one that I made, uh, but we have the new ones on the website. You can find under our website there, cyclonefpv.com. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Remember when you do that, ground goes on the outside, guys. And in the, in the middle is your positive, and, and on the uh, right outside, to the right is your S port. So I'm gonna go to my menu, I'm gonna hold menu down, click page, go to my firmware, and I believe the XM Plus under FR Sky uh, receiver firmware, and I believe I have XM Plus, which is right there. And uh, we are gonna go, we see we have the do not use, that's that 2.1 crap, stay away from that. Uh, oh crap, I didn't mean to get out of there. Uh, so we're gonna go to the firmware here, FreeSky RX firmware, and then we're gonna go to the XM Plus, and we're gonna go to the 170313, so let me go there, and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the XM, I'm going to take the, uh, the pins here, and if you look on this right here, you can see that it is S bus 5 volt and ground. Ground is to the rail, the rail being the outside. So ground is going to go here. Okay, and then the 5 volt, which is in this case my orange one, that would be your red on the regular pins. And then the um, S port is going to go right here, just like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hold this down. Oops, we're going to click it, and we're going to say... We want to do the 16 channel, uh, let's just do 16 channel with SSI, or RSSI, hit, hold it down, and then click flash S port. And that's going to start blinking. Uh, there it goes. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you see it blinking. So while that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and take this off right here. Okay, and I believe that they've already soldered the wires, uh, and they just leave them here. It's pretty cool, actually. They just leave it here for you to do like this. So they've left these wires right here. Unfortunately, these don't fit in there, but I'm going to trim these off here, and we're going to install it, and that'll be it. So let me go, actually, I don't even know if I want to take this off. I may just be able to do this just on its own. And what I'll do is I'll stick it to the top there. So that's, uh-oh, I hit the cable here, so it kind of timed out. I have to start again. So give me a second here. Let me do this one more time. The cable fell out. My apologies. Put that right there. Let's try this again. And this time I'll try not to hit it. Flash the S port. Let's see if it'll do it. Okay, it's blinking, so that's good. Uh, I will take this off just so you guys can see it. I am in a frantic hurry here because I don't want this gentleman to have to wait any longer. Um, and so I'm trying my best to get this done. Hopefully we should get that. Okay, so this says it's done right here. So that's good. And we're going to go ahead now and take this plate off real quickly. There it goes. Here's the wires that HCLC put on here already. And these are perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and end up sticking it right here. So I'm going to get some double-sided tape, which I had a huge build to do this week, uh, this uh, yesterday. And I put the tape somewhere, so bear with me. It's a, it's a madhouse in here right now. Let's see if I can find it though. Oh, where did I put my double sided tape? Come on. Oh, here it is. Okay. Whoops. And we're going to turn the, um, the glue gun on here. Let me see if I can get this heated up in time. Uh, so let's do this. Let's cut this. 
And my scissors are not where they need to be, so let me find those. Somewhere in this space. Okay, there. Let's do that. The one thing, I, you know, I would really appeal to H or to Free Sky. I, I really wish they would do this, and I don't think it would really. I, I think it, the cost would be very minimal. I really wish they would start putting um, uh, heat treat tubing with their receivers because this can't go like this. Like you, you need to put heat treat tubing on there, and that means that you have to find it. And if you don't have it, then you're risking shorting it out. So just uh, maybe we'll appeal to them to do that. All right. So let's put this on. We're going to cut that part out. Okay. This is what happens when I'm in a hurry. Four hours of sleep in 48 hours. I stayed up for two days and then I got four hours of sleep. So it's a little interesting right now. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and tin the board. And go ahead and grab some flux, uh, uh, the flux pen here. If you need these, they're on our site under um, tools and supplies or hardware. And then you can go to soldering tools and you'll find all our soldering stuff uh, that we have there. And everything that I use here is what's offered on our site. I don't use anything that I don't sell to you. So. It's good enough to use, it's good enough to sell, and vice versa. Here we go. So let me clean the tip of this real quickly. I'm just gonna heat up where I put this. I wanna kinda see it boil a little bit. And then let me go ahead and tighten this down. I kinda think there's a little bit of movement there. All right. Okay, now for these wires, if I'm gonna place this here, uh, I think we're gonna have enough room. That shouldn't be a problem at all here. So let me just go ahead and that should, that should be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that tape uh, wherever I put it. Hmm, okay. Put the tape right here. That should be good. Let's go ahead and peel that off. Okay. And then we can go ahead and tin up the board. So let's get our solder ready. There we go. I'm using every inch of the soldering pad right now. So we're gonna do one, two, three. There we go. Okay. And now we're gonna cut the wire that they put. All right. And so let's just, I don't actually, we're gonna cut it the full length here. Oh, and I got these new snips, these new wire cutters. Um, oh, I know I have them here because I just got them in. Uh, I've got about 300 sets of them right now. If you guys are interested, uh, they're very inexpensive and they're very sharp. They're very good and I'm very excited. Um, so they're so good. I don't know where I put them. I think I may have taken them with me when I went flying. So uh, I, since I've got a ton of them, I'll just grab another one uh, somewhere. Sorry, it this was a. Let's see. Hey, got a bunch of them here. These right here, right? So I love these. And like I said, I've got a few hundred in stock. So if you need any, feel free to check them out. They're under hand tools. Find these is a perfect, tiny and sharp. Let's go ahead and cut this right there, like that. Okay, and then let's go ahead and strip these out. Got the new uh, wire strippers in too. So we can help you with those if you need. One. Two and three. All right. So we're going to put these in some uh, flux paste. All right. There we go. And we're going to twist them up. Just like that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get these soldered or tinned, I mean. And we're just going to kind of leave them over here so they don't get in the way of the board. And we're just going to go over them real quickly. So let me just do this one. There you go, two. There you go, and three. Okay, there we go. Now let's cut the length of these to make them a safe length. So, uh, you know, if you were to try to be precise enough, I would say one and a half millimeters maybe uh, in length. And depending on what you're soldering to, you know, you, you, you got to make sure that you don't cross the wires and you don't come into contact with anything around them. So there you go. That's pretty good size right there. Now I'm just going to turn around, get the tweezers and solder these in. So remember, it's ground positive and S support, right? So here we go. So we're going to do ground. We're going to start from the outside actually and go in. So this way we don't cross over the wires as we're soldering. 
So I'm going to put the S port here. There's one. It takes all of a second, right? If your solder is good and your solder iron is good, it's less than a second. So it's like half a second maybe. Two, see? And then the last one. Three. There you go. All three are in. It looks clean. So let's just wind up the wire a little bit to get it a little organized. There we go. Okay, now take that off and get our shrink tubing. Start from behind where the antennas are, bring it on over. And get it to go down far enough to cover about uh, half an inch on each side, excess, just like that. You still have your bind button accessible. All right. Get this out of the way and get the heat gun going. All right, there we go. That's done, and now that's protected and safe, so we're good there. I think our glue gun's a little warm, so at least we can get started with that. So let me go ahead and see if we can lay some of this down. All right, we'll put that down, and then what we'll do is we will come over here, put this this way, just like that. Now, the glue is hot, and this is hot from using the heat shrink, so it's going to melt there and cool very nicely. And we will keep this away from the wire that's going to come up, and you can make sure the button presses with no problem. So the only other thing I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and make sure these wires uh, are run properly. And I don't like this, this, um, I'm not a big fan of this uh, mount that they make because I always have a hard time getting the wire to go through there properly. So I'm going to give it a shot, but I'm not going to waste much time on this. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go. And I'll just put it around it. Let me just see what I can do here though. Okay. So I think what I will do Depending on how this is going to go, let me see how much room do I have. If I do that, then I can come up here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go that route because I've never gotten these to fit properly in there. And to be honest with you, it's such a fight to do it and the benefit is nil. So I'm going to put this right here like this. I'm going to refasten everything now. So let me do that. Once I get one on there, the rest of them are pretty simple. I can turn my radio off now. I'm looking for the mail. They're coming. We got a lot of shipments today. Guys, uh, I thank you all very much for your support and your business. But holy cow, it's been a little crazy. So I am trying to make sure this gets out. And I think I may make it if I can just get this done here. We might be in good shape. Okay. Oh, give me one more screw. There it is. Even my bench is dirty. I gotta clean this bench up. Okay, so with the wires like they are, obviously we're gonna need to heat shrink them down, right? So what we're gonna do now is pretty much what I've ended up doing on all of these is that I run them from the bottom and I put the heat shrink on the top because uh, that, like I said, that setup there is not the easiest for me to work with and I tend to wanna throw it out the window when I get upset like that. So instead of getting upset, I'm just gonna, instead of getting upset, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this properly. We're gonna make it look good. And uh, let me see how I want to do this here. Okay, so we can, let's see. I mean, it's just, I don't like these prints. I really wish they would do something else, but that's that's just me being me, I guess. Um, I want to see something here. Let me see if I can do this. I don't know how this is going to, there we go. I'm going to send these through on the edges here, right here. That'll give me my, hopefully my little window to pass these through, I hope. So let's see. Because I don't like the other option, so 
Oh, and there we go. Okay, so now let's see if I can get this to go through there. This way it stays away from the bottom. I thought this would be a better option, but I'm having a hard time making that work, so hold on a second. Oh, well, that's why. Unlock spot. Let's go right here. That should go then, right? I don't think it's my fat fingers that are stopping me. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. And that's what I want to see. Now, let's hope I grab this before it falls back through. There we go. Oh, no, no. There we go. Perfect. That's what I want. Now, I've got to do the same on this side, so let me not. There we go. That's right there. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to send this one through. How's it going, babe? Good. All done. Okay. Mail hasn't come yet, right? No. Okay, good. If I can get this wire in here in time, I'm done. And we can get this out. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. There you go. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Now I can see it. I say I can see it, and then I go, I go it goes again, it's gone. Don't move. Sit still. Right. Bless you. Thank you. Welcome, babe. I'm telling you. I'm going to start making my own mounts for this, and then I'm going to replace them when they get sent to me. This is enough to make a man go mad. Why I have such a hard time with these? Uh, it just irritates me. This is not a skill. This is just labor. And not that labor is not a skill, but this is there's nothing to this. It's just, you got to like... I guess maybe I'm just too old and I don't have steady hands, so this is just a pain in the butt. But I think I'm getting close there. Come on, come on. Is that it? All right, well, I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna give up on this. This print is so whoppy job that... Down the street. Huh? Mail just drove down the street. So how much time do I got? Maybe five minutes. This, I mean, like, literally, I'm spending all my time trying to get this damn thing through a hole. Forget it. Forget it. I'm not gonna... Time starts now! Shit just got real, folks. Just got real. Ah, come on, 
You stupid, get over here. Clack, 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 uh -huh. And there we have success. What a pain in the ass that is, you know that? I mean, god darn. Seriously, guys. All right, here we go. I think I got it. All right, shrink these down. Pinch that right there. Same thing on this side. All right. There you have it. Everything's good. Everything's done. Back together. Looks good. It's going to be solid. Perfect. And we need to just put this in the box now. And... Get it out the door. And that's it. All right, guys. If you have any questions, sorry, I can't even do the closing here. If you have any questions, give me a call or no, don't give me a call. Do this. Go to that website. Go to our website there. Let me know if you need anything. Please follow us on Facebook uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Blah, blah, blah. And I got to hurry. Peace. Bye.